Great Britain's countryside is known for its rolling hills, its castles, its cottages. But its waves of flowing green grass are making way for new kinds of waves. So that you can spend an afternoon -a being a big kahuna. Allie Ward is in Wales to explain. I knew I might see some castles and maybe some sheep in Wales, but as I rode the train from London, it was a certain type of water garden that I was interested in visiting. An inland surf park amidst the tranquil Welsh countryside. Yes, surfing like this can happen on man-made waves on an inland body of water. This is Andy Ainsco, and he is managing director of Surf Snowdonia Adventure Park. I met up with him to talk about the engineering of this surfing anomaly and to have a go at the man-made waves myself. It's a wave garden. It's a wave garden, that's the technology. Yeah. <laughs> You've yeah. cultivated waves. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a Spanish uh, company that developed the technology and we were the first people to implement it for the public. The waves are reliable. Yeah. <laughs> no sharks? No sharks, <laughs> nice changing rooms, a cup of coffee afterwards. It's sort of, in, in some ways, surfing for softies, but a great training <laughs> ground as well. Built on the revamped site of a long shuttered aluminium, or I mean aluminum plant, the lagoon is 984 feet long and 328 feet wide. Now tell me a little bit about the technology and the engineering that went behind the mechanics of this. In the center we have a 180 meter powered run. And what's in the middle of that, it looks almost a little bit like a snow plow, which is what we call our hydrofoil, creating these waves either side of the central pier for the surface to surf on. And that's underneath the water? Yeah, that's all completely submerged. And that's one of the big secrets of Wave Garden that they were working on for many years to affect that, the angle of the wave foil, pressure that it has to take, it runs on wheels. It's quite a big engineering operation. The water level here is precisely regulated. 35,000 cubic meters of water are maintained within three millimeters to create the desired waves. The shores surrounding the lagoon are carefully designed to capture and redistribute the water so that the waves quickly dissipate. <laughs> and the water's surface is calm again before the next wave run begins. It was time to give it a try. All right, wetsuit, check. Skill level, questionable. Andy took me through the basics so that I could learn surfing 101. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to catch some waves, dude. Paddling out. Here I go, here comes the first wave. Okay, that was just the first wave. Shake it off. I believe this is called a wipeout. It's a bit of a learning curve. That was close. I could do this kind of research all day long. Inland surfing on waves of science and innovation. <laughs>